I think one of the key challenges with incorporating environmental impact into a strategy in public equities is, of course, this notion of how do you really have impact in public markets when shares are changing hand. Uh, and I think the way that we're trying to express that uh, at BNP Paribas Asset Management and the Environmental Strategies Group is really by investing in companies uh, that lie outside an index that need capital in order to start new projects uh, or to scale technologies that uh, typical investors typically wouldn't necessarily be investing in as part of uh, a broader index. And hence, I think one of the challenges is really for those companies uh, to find their way into more institutional portfolios and for investors to get access to those type of companies. Uh, and that's why we think uh, that's an incredibly interesting area to be in, not only because of the impact it creates, but also because of the returns that it ultimately will create for investors. I would say the pillars of an effective impact investment fund uh, really goes towards thinking about the uh, solutions-oriented aspect of your investments. And hence, it's not about necessarily allocating capital into companies with a low carbon footprint. Netflix and Google and Alphabet might have a low carbon footprint, but there's maybe very little to change the environment uh, and some of the uh, challenges that we have today. And hence, I think it's incredibly important to think about the solution providers, the providers that can help get us to where we need to get to. But the balance between ESG and impact investment, I think, is an incredibly important one because ESG investing and impact investing are not necessarily the same. ESG investing is a three-letter word uh, where we're trying to think about environmental and social governance, uh, which is still very much very uh, reporting-led rather than impact-led. Whereas, and hence, as you're allocating co uh, capital towards ESG, doesn't necessarily mean that you're allocating capital towards where it has the most impact in terms of the portfolio outcome that you want. We're very much focused on the impact vertical and how can we have impact on specifically the E in ESG whilst acknowledging that we don't want to run risks uh, from a social or governance point of view. So we're maximizing on the E whilst making sure that we're not uh, falling in the trap of poor S and poor G. I think where we need the most progress for impact investment is just lifting our heads a little bit outside of the world of tracking an overall index like MSCI Aqua or MSCI Europe. Uh, because the way, of course, most people will end up tracking those indices are by having a broad portfolio allocation to real estate, to financials, to technology, to retail, i.e. to areas that don't necessarily contribute to climate change. In fact, what we find is a lot of the world's most prominent leaders within environmental solutions are not even part of the indices, and hence trying to get around index investing and lower tracking error, but accepting a higher tracking error and the higher risk award that comes with portfolios that are run like that, where we can also achieve higher impact, I think that's where more progress is needed.